The Missouri Tigers follow up a road loss at Kansas State with a thrilling overtime win at Iowa State. Highlights of both games and a conversation with Tiger head coach Mike Anderson next on This Week in Mizzou Basketball. The ultimate test when you go on the road in our league and of course Kansas State uh, ranked one of the top six, five teams in mm -hmm. the country and you get a chance to go into their place where they're awful good there and then of course uh, Hilton Coliseum. Everyone talk about the Hilton magic and what takes place there and a tough venue. So it was a it was an interesting week, uh, critical week, uh, important week for for our Tigers. Missouri now up to 22 wins for the season, 10 of them in conference play. Another impressive run under Coach Anderson's leadership. So let's look back at the past two games. We'll go in order, of course. The first one uh, last weekend at Kansas State. Big, big crowd. Unfortunately, Justin Safford reduced uh, to spectator and teammates, certainly, but couldn't play. And I know you're going to figure to miss him a little bit, Coach, against that physical K-State coach. Well, a guy that's sorely missed. I mean, you talk about his experience. and uh, uh, But at the same time, it gives an opportunity for guys like Steve Moore to to step up and, and you can see here early in the game it was game going back and forth I think there's Kimmy English uh, knocking down the shot you all started well now it wasn't an offensive display by either team but your defense really limited Kansas State for the majority of that first half you, there goes a the guy I talk about somebody have an opportunity and Steve Moore mm -hmm. how about Steve Moore five block shots uh, in a game off the bench uh, was huge for us we did a good job of attacking the basket there's Zaya Taylor uh, attacking uh, Kansas State and of course, they have the guard playing their, their team and Pullum knocking down a three-point shot. Yeah, good guards over there, Denny Clemente and Jacob Pullum. But you've got a bunch of good guards as well, including Miguel Pull off the bench for three. You're up 21-13. That was a great out-of-bound play. I think we had four seconds on the clock, and Steve did a good job of screening for Miguel, and Miguel knocked the shot down. And before halftime, K State on a little run. Jordan Henriquez, big guy off the bench, hits that shot. So it's 23 apiece heading into the second half. Well, big key is when you come out, you got to come out with some energy. Here we are on a great fast break, and I think it's back to a tie, tie game early on. That was beautiful, wasn't it? The way your guys ran that break, coach. Well, if you notice, the ball won't touch the floor. It's just ball movement, ball movement, and a guy gets to the layup. Uh, that's to me, that's unselfish basketball. Sure was. Tigers and K State tied and. I think many of us figured this was just going to be a grind of a game, a tight one in the second half. It was Kim English and one. Kimmy off the dribble and uh, uh, attacks, creates with gaps in the you know the man to man and makes a tough shot. Sure did. We've seen Kim really do that a little more as the season's gone. Get to the basket. Here comes K State in transition. They've got a lot of talent, a deep team, including Jamar Samuels. And absolutely. The thing that hurt us especially, and you saw there, was our uh, inability to take care of the ball, turnovers. And, and of course, here you've got Zaire fighting and fighting. And it was a game that went back and forth. And, and I'll tell you what, Pullum, he's quick as a hiccup. That yeah, guy's quick. They are, both those guys. Clemente, Pullum, they're really uh, quick in that backcourt. JT knows how to get to the basket, though. Uh, again, JT, you can just see him really kind of just uh, putting his stamp on this team. And, of course, Kansas State, very good basketball team. I thought we did a good job defensively, but uh, at the same time, you've got to be able to score. And I think we had some opportunities there. Kimmy English coming off a baseline screen, uh, knocks the shot down. And, of course, uh, Keith Ramsey on the offensive glass. And Marcus Denman had a nice shot here from the corner. And uh, Coach Anderson, you're within five points in the final. It's hanging around on the road. Yeah, JT makes a nice penetration and, and knocks the shot down. We hadn't been shooting it that well, but it was good to see that ball going over. We had some nice looks, uh, but it just wouldn't go in the hole. And there's a, a shot went up and came up short. We got some offensive rebounds, and uh, JT Tiller stays with it. Yep, your guys really battle on the... The board's there within five points in the last few minutes. The defense, of course, never stops. It's 58-53 in the final minute. Well, we're talking about it. Our guys will never, ever give up. One thing about these guys, and there's JT on the steal and, and turning that into some, some points. You wouldn't stand for your guys to give up, would you? Well, they just just a makeup in those guys. And, of course, Kansas State was able to – I thought they really was able to eke a, a game out because I thought we played great defense. Then shoot the ball particularly well. But the thing, shooting the ball and taking care of the basketball, we didn't do a good job of taking care of the basketball.